Hello friends, how are you doing today? <sighs> so today we are going to be talking about what to do and how to start over when life kicks you in the butt. So I've done a little bit of research, <laughs> definitely not an expert, but if you wanna hear what I've learned so far, stay tuned. So life has kicked you in the butt. You have either gotten let go from your job, you have maybe just been recently out of a relationship, um, some financial downfall has happened, something bad has happened and it's left you with your life in shambles and scattered all over the floor and you're left weeping in a pile of your own sadness and disappointment. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you do? Well, you can't live there. You can't stay there. You can't um, be that puddle. You are an adult <laughs> and you have responsibilities and you have stuff to do. And also, it's not happy. It's not a good place. It's not a good look to be that. You're a strong person, I hope. I think you are. No, you are a strong person. Um, and uh, yeah, you need to get through this. But how, how do you get through it? Especially when you're in it, when you're in the middle of it all, um, it's hard to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and get back on the horse. Um, so I've found nine ways that, uh, maybe not nine ways, but kind of what you should be doing so that you uh, can, can start over. All right, so let's, uh, let's hit them. So the first thing you have to do is you have to feel the feelings. Um, if you're sad, if you're depressed, don't just bury it deep, deep, deep down. I'm telling you from experience that that does not work, it does not help, and you will not be happy. So if you gotta feel it, feel it. Um, I once read that Beyonce, when she has a bad day, um, she lets herself feel it for, I think it's 24 hours. So she'll get into the feels, like she'll cry, she'll do, she'll be angry, she'll be upset, like whatever coping mechanism she needs, she lets herself feel it for 24 hours. And I think that's really important because you have to like grieve what it is you've lost. Uh, so yeah, so feel the feelings. And then you need to make peace with the reality that whatever is over and whatever is done, it's done. And um, it's not, things are just, you know, are never gonna be the same. Uh, and I don't know what that looks like for you. I don't know what you're going through right now, but for me, it's always been, um, you just have to, yeah, you just have to realize that shit's gonna change. Shit has changed. It's changed. Don't try to dig your heels into the past. Don't, you know, try to, don't do the coulda, woulda, shouldas. I'm really big, um, I'm really guilty of doing that. I always think, what could I have done? What should I have done? Um, so don't do that. It will drive you crazy. Next, you have to clean up your space. Um, usually when things fall apart, our environment also falls apart. So, you know, the dishes pile up, the laundry doesn't get done. All of those things happen when life knocks you down. So you need to remind yourself um, what a badass bitch you are. And that means getting up, cleaning up your space and making it a safe, clean, tidy, organized, lovely place for you to be. And as I say that, I'm looking at my apartment and realizing I need to tidy up. Uh, but yeah, definitely make sure that your home is an inviting space to be in. Reflect on what went wrong. So this isn't the coulda, woulda, shouldas. This isn't 
going back in time and trying to fi excuse me trying to fix um things so that you can go back but it's literally taking a very objective view as to you know if let's say you lost your job what what went wrong like was it that you weren't performing you know maybe you were always late for work maybe you know you it was you hated your job like what what was it about that thing what was wrong um and and write it down document it so that way you can kind of see you know okay I, you know, I'm always late. Maybe I need to work somewhere closer to me. Maybe I need to work from home. Maybe I shouldn't grab that iced latte every single day. No, grab the latte. You need it. It's good for the soul. Um, but yeah, whatever it is that you need to realistically change for next time, make sure you uh, are aware of that. So that way, you know, you're not you know, doing it over and doing it over and doing it over again. So yeah, figure out what went wrong and then figure out how you can fix it. You need to revisit your goals. So what do you want? What do you want in life? What, what's important to you, you know, is, you know, like if, if it's a relationship that just ended, is marriage important to you? Is that something that you want? Um, are kids important to you? Uh, if you, you know, lost your job, like what now that you get to do this over again is what type of work-life balance is important for you? Do you want, you know, a lot of money or is maybe money not as big of a deal if you can go on lots of vacations or flex days or spend more time with your family or you know, be bringing, being able to bring your dog to work. I don't know, for me, that's really important. I need to be around my dog as much as possible because he's my best friend. So you, know, you need to reevaluate your values and your morals and what is really important to you. Because hopefully when you start again, this is the last time you start again and you just keep growing and growing and growing. And then I guess once you figured out what, you, what went wrong objectively, you figure out your morals and your goals and what's important to you in your life, then you figure out what you want to do. Um, so yeah, I mean, that one I'm kind of stuck on. That's where I think I'm at right now um, with <laughs> everything in my life. But yeah, you know, you figure it out. And this is a process. This, this is always evolving. It's always changing. And you, like, what is that magical job for you? What does, what does your, future mate, you know, want, to, what are they like? What, you know, what, what do you want? Write it down, go for it. Um, and, and you also, I think is what's really important is you need to figure out who you want to be when you're in that position. So for, for example, I have this outfit that I said, I would want to wear going to work. And so that, that you know, it's a, I think it's a band tee and like a blazer and like some distressed denim and some heels. And I'm like, that's my, that's my dream outfit. So whatever job I do and however, how I feel, like how powerful I feel and like how like in control I am wearing that outfit, that's how I want to go into my next job, my next career, whatever I plan to do. So figure out who you want to be, who you want to show up as and start being that person. Like just go for it. Now that you know what you want to do, you need to figure out an action plan. Take a big, big goal and break it down into smaller, 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 smaller goals until it's literally day one, get up, day two, rewrite your resume and or so on and so forth, whatever it is that you, you want to do. So, um, yeah, make it small bite-sized pieces instead of one big, 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 big plan. Cause that can be a little daunting. And I feel that if you're at that stage, you're probably a little bit delicate and, uh, need to be 
kind to yourself. So yeah, small bite-sized pieces of goals. The next one is to just work up the courage to know that you can do it and then go do it. You can only plan for so much and you can only plan for so long. Eventually you just gotta rip that bandaid and you just gotta get her done. And if that means, you know, I don't know, signing up to a dating app if you're trying to find someone or maybe leaving your house or your apartment and, you know, being open to meeting people at the grocery store or I don't know, I don't know where people meet people anymore, you know, with this whole pandemic and stuff, it's hard to, uh, I don't know, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna figure out. So yeah, and don't be afraid to fail. Everyone has failed. Everyone has failed. And those who have not ever failed have not lived. So don't be afraid. It's, uh, it's a part of life. Don't forget to ask for help if you need it. So if you're really stuck and you don't, you know what you want to do, but you maybe don't have the skills, you know, sign up for a class. Um, if you are needing a wing woman or a wingman, you know, maybe, you know, t dip your toes back into the dating pool. I don't know, whatever mentor or advice or, or help you need, definitely seek it out if you feel that you need it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you found this really helpful. I know I did because, you know, I researched these topics and um, I myself am kind of in a weird limbo-y place. And I think really lots of people in the world are. So again, just remember that you're not alone in this. We're all in this together and um, we'll get through it. We'll start over and then, and then. Okay, guys, so that's it for me. I will uh, see you next time. Bye.